Hey, what's up? Adam Lobo here from Adam Lobo TV. So after a long absence in the smartphone market, Honor is back. After being separated from Huawei to be an independent brand and presenting us with the new Honor 50 series. So in this video, I'll be giving you my unboxing and the first impressions of the Honor 50. And yes, it does have Google Play services on the phone. So keep watching. Starting from the unboxing, the box comes in white with 5G logo on top and Honor 50 in the middle. Then below at the side of the box, you'll find the specs and the color variant over here. Opening the box, you'll immediately find the phone inside. Below that, there's a smaller white box which has the SIM ejector pin on the outside and a clear phone case on the inside. Underneath, there's the USB-C headphones a USB-A to USB-C cable and a 66W Honor supercharge brick. Now looking at the build quality of the phone, my first impressions was how premium and solidly built that the phone was. While I have been getting my hands on a lot of flat screen and a more squared off design smartphones to review, it is indeed a very refreshing feeling to hold a phone which has a more curvier side. And although that I prefer a matte finish for a smartphone, the glossy finish is what Honor calls it the dual texture, dual film and dual coating technology. And also maybe it is just me but holding the phone reminded me of the Huawei Mate series. Not this orange coloured one but the previous glossier one which is Huawei's flagship anyway. So it is indeed a phone that has a lot of premium design and build put into it. In terms of the color options, the one which I have is called the Emerald Green which had a very nice unique color finish and it also comes in Frost Crystal, Midnight Black and also a limited edition Honor code which has some very distinctive Honor letters around the phone which was very reminiscent of an LV design. So if you are into that kind of design, you'll surely find that appealing. Now, as usual, Honor never fails to put a newly refreshed design to their camera arrays as the phone had a very unique eye-catching dual ring camera design with a medium to large size camera bump. So expect it to wobble a bit if you type the phone on a surface. Now, the sides are also quite glossy. So if you have uh, but the fingers, I would just recommend for you to use the clear phone case that comes inside of the box as seen earlier to give you a firmer grip. Now the hole punch is in the middle and as seen, the screen curves all the way to the sides as well. Next, looking at the ports and buttons, other than the USB-C down below, there is the SIM ejector slot which supports up to two SIM cards. Then you'll find one of the two dual speaker grills over there as the other speaker is at the earpiece area where you'll also find the proximity sensor and speaking of which, the phone has face unlock which does unlock pretty quickly. Then on the right, you'll find the volume rockers and the power button. So overall, I would give this phone an A for the phone's build because of how I felt that this was very close to a high-level flagship and it is something that I really appreciate. Now looking at the display, the phone has a 6.57-inch OLED display with a resolution of 1080 by 2340 pixels with 1.0 billion colors and covers 100% of DCI P3 color gamut. And upon turning on the phone screen, as soon as I unboxed the phone, the screen quality was definitely something that was the most appealing part about the smartphone as it was very bright, vibrant and sharp. And since it is an OLED display, you'll find an always on display option on the phone with an in-display fingerprint sensor which unlocks really quickly. Now, another unique feature that the phone had is the different types of options for the screen refresh rate, which Honor calls it the intelligent dynamic refresh rate. While it can go up to 120 hertz, but there are options to change between dynamic for a nice balance of smoothness and battery life, where it can go up to a maximum 120 hertz refresh rate. Then there is high, which goes to 120 hertz refresh rate all the way which obviously uses more power and then they're standard by going down to 60 hertz then compare the other smartphones which has a refresh rate at 120 hertz and then having 240 hertz touch sampling rate this honor 50 has a touch sampling rate up to 300 hertz so that was nice 
Now for your spec nerds out there, one thing to note is that the playback specification on Netflix were at Widevine L3 and it has up to SD playback resolution, so keep that in mind. But during my first impressions, watching Netflix looked really nice still and of course the video playback on YouTube was very good. And here is another A rated for the phone screen. It was very close to getting an A plus in my humble opinion because if the playback were at L1 and had Dolby Vision, I would consider the screen to be perfect. But considering the price which I will reveal later, I think that's totally fine. Now in terms of the cameras, there is a total of 4 camera lenses where the rear camera is a massive 108 megapixel f1.9 aperture with a 1 over 1.52 inch sensor, an 8 megapixel f2.2 112 degrees ultra wide lens, a 2 megapixel f2.4 bokeh or depth camera and a 2 megapixel f2.4 macro lens. Then as for the front camera, it comes with a 32 megapixel f2.2 camera. Now based on my quick test shots, Honor phones has never disappointed me where the phone's dynamic range were great even during a cloudy day which I took these shots. Now the front camera pictures was also great too both for the regular and the selfie portrait with really nice subject to background blur especially when the light is shining towards you. Which I'm looking forward to of course test the camera to its full potential so subscribe to Adam Lobo TV if you haven't done so. Now as for video, the rear camera maxes out at 4K 30 frames per second and the front camera can record up to 1080p but up to a higher frame rate at 60 frames per second. Now image stabilization for the front and rear was really good and the video quality for the rear lens was excellent as well. Next, looking at the overall specs of the phone, it comes with the Snapdragon 778G 5G 6nm chipset with the Adreno 642L GPU. And the variant that I have is the 8GB of RAM with 256GB of storage. Then as for battery, the phone has 4300mAh of battery. Which I'll see how the phone performs when it comes to the battery life especially with the very interesting adaptive refresh rate when I use the phone daily. And of course the phone has fast charging up to 66 watts where the charger comes inside of the box as seen earlier where this 66 watts charger can apparently charge the phone from 0 to 70% in just 20 minutes so I shall test that out and see if that is really true. Now in terms of the software, the phone comes pre-installed with Honor's Magic UI 4.2 on top of Android 11 and yes with Google Play services as well. And as of the recording of this video, it is still at the same version of the Magic UI. And so far during my first impressions, the Magic UI has been great without any complaints. So we shall see when I use it daily. Then looking at the phone's price here in Malaysia, Honor Malaysia has just launched the phone officially where the pre-order has just started where it retails at 1,999 ringgit for the 8GB of RAM with 256GB of storage where there is a promotion of getting free gifts worth 550 ringgit like the Honor Buds 2 Lite, the Honor 50 strap hand case and a one plus one year extended warranty which I'll leave a link down below for you to get yourself one. So guys, as usual, do let me know what you would like to know specifically about the brand new Honor 50 at the comment section below and either I'll reply to your comments directly at the comment section or I will be answering them during my full video review. Aside from that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick first impressions video. My name is Adam Lobo and I'll see you in my next video.